Is it true that when you give God something or so seed, then God will answer your prayers? Today we're going to talk about it. I have a friend who just kind of like been upset with God and um, he's really, really mad. He's a Christian and I've been trying to talk to him since to see how I can come in and bring him to a place of understanding concerning his mistakes with regards to that thought. Um, today's going to be more than one minute. Um, if you like what we're saying, please, and you want to finish up the video, if you go to our page, you're going to find a complete video so that you will understand fully the context of what we're saying. Now, this friend had a problem and um, he's been trying all the best he could uh, to provide for his family, but things are not really working or things were not really working well. So he decided to approach his pastor and everything. And the pastor advised him that he has to succeed and then that he succeed that things are gonna work and everything. And he, he did succeed. And after sowing the seed, he was expecting things to change. Things did not change. He went back to the pastor and still, you know, approached the pastor again, like, things are not working. He said, if I sow seed, things are going to work. The pastor asked him to up his seed, that maybe his seed, his sacrifice was not enough. And he did that. And today, he's left with nothing. And he's really, really struggling. And he's now upset with God, not even with the pastor, that... He sowed the seed and everything and nothing happened. Now let's talk about this thing. Truly, is it true that when you sow seed, then God will answer your prayers or God will do something concerning your situation? The truth is that our God is not a transactional God. That's one thing people don't understand. God is not a buy and sell God. God is not the God that... You know, when you give him one, he will give you two. If you don't give him, he's not going to give you. The love of God for your life transcends, is bigger, you understand, than what you call your seed or anything. Agreed. When you sow seed, God can, can touch God's heart, but we'll talk about when the seed touches God's heart and when, it does, when it's just you doing your own thing. The truth is this. God has kept a principle here on earth. And that principle is principle of how to probably make wealth, make money, get your provision. And that principle simply says, walk and you'll be rewarded. And that is part of the principle of the kingdom. So for you to think that when you need something that wants you take everything and sow a seed, then God will bring you something. That does not work that way. If not, the rich people would have been the richest and continue being the richest, which they are. And the poor will keep on being the poor and the poorest. Why? Because the poor will have nothing to sow as a seed for God to reward them. God says something. He said, I am the Lord that caused rain to fall both on the just and the unjust. So God's love is not partial. He can cause rain, can cause goodness to happen to the, un the man we call the unjust and cause goodness to happen to the man that we call the just. But the truth is that God does not need your seed to bless you. He's your father. Now think about it. Your earthly father. But Jesus said that if your earthly father knows how to give good things to you, how much more your father in heaven? Now think about it. You need something from your dad. You, you go to your dad and your dad just kept mute. He's not going to answer. He's not going to listen to you except you go and bring something before he will listen to you. What kind of father is that? God is not that way. God loves you regardless. And he will do what he wants to do for you. You don't, you don't need a seed for God to answer your prayer. Now, there are times that you sow seed out of your heart because you genuinely love God and you want the things of God to prosper. Now, that becomes a burnt offering or a sacrifice at the altar before God. God will smell the aroma of that and God will react. God will bless. Jacob did it. He cooked for the father. The father enjoyed the meal. He blessed him. The woman, the woman of Zarephath, just obeyed the instruction and gave. Not expecting that the prophet will multiply and the barrel of oil will multiply. No, she gave because she, she honored the man of God. She loves the man of God and just gave. 
So if we go through the Bible, uh, Solomon slaughtered thousand cattle before the Lord in sacrifice, and God blessed him. But none of them did it as a transaction of God. I'm giving you this because if I give you this, I know you're going to give me back this. Or because if I give you this, then you do this for me. And when we talk about, we say, oh, uh, this person said, Anna said this, or that one said this, that, oh, when you give me this, then I'm going to give you my son back. And you know, these people are, not, are giving those as living sacrifice to serve God. They are not giving it in the transaction of, oh, okay, if you give me this, I'll, if I give you money, you give me this. God's blessing is not for sale. If God's blessing were to be for sale, then the rich would, would have been, as no poor man would be rich because I don't know how you're going to get enough to do that. So it's a very wrong idea to think that when you sow seed, you sow your way out of problems. No. You may be working based on your faith, but that's not the principle of the kingdom. You don't sow your way out of problems. Problems are resolved by the power of the Spirit, by knowledge, by understanding, and by the effort you put in, not by giving money at the altar. God does not need your money to bless you. He will bless you regardless. Now to this, my friend, his faith is now shaken. And that is based on what someone preached to him and the understanding of someone. Today, he feels God robbed him. No, God did not rob you. In case if you're watching this video, <laughs> man robbed you. And your ignorance robbed you. I'm sorry to sound this way. We are friends. Don't worry. We can always talk. And your ignorance robbed you because you should have known better that, look, you work to get resources. You don't sow seed to get resources. It doesn't work that way. We can't avoid work as believers. We have to learn to work so as to make ends meet, not to sow seed. So many Christians are in church today sowing seed instead of going to work or instead of putting the required effort they need to make things work, then church sowing seed. We can sow seed, like I said, but when you're sowing seed, sow it because you love God. Sow it because you want the things of the kingdom to move, not because you're expecting God to exchange something for your seed. God is not a transactional God in that, in that direction. The day they tried to do transaction in the temple, Jesus whipped them out of the temple. God is about loving you. God is about providing for you. God is about showing that he's your father. He doesn't need your money to bless you. Just note that. Anybody that tells you that God needs your money to bless you have lied to you. The father I serve, his name is love. The father I serve loves me so much that he can do anything for me, even giving his son that I may be saved. So if you've been in the habit of thinking that God will bless you because you've sown seed, change that habit. Sow seed because you want the kingdom to get to, to move forward. So seed because you love God. So seed because you're trying to, you know, propagate the gospel. Don't so seed because you want God to exchange something for you for that seed. It doesn't work that way. God is not even, <laughs> it's not the God of mammon. You understand? You can't serve two masters. Amen. Hope this, you know, helps you to have a better understanding. And if you have any question and you want me to elaborate on this, reach out and I'll do that. God bless you. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for everyone that listened to this video. Father, that your spirit will open up their heart of understanding. That it will be clear in their mind what your word says concerning this seed. Lord, is anyone angry in the past? Lord, let this video, oh Lord, bring peace to their heart. And let them understand that you're the God that loves them. You're not the God that is a taskmaster over their life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please follow us.